Okay, let's start with uh, the sad, unfortunate situation where we have an employee who's been diagnosed or is exposed. Now, this category isn't folks who we think um, might be exposed because they travel or could be exposed because of some other things they've told us. I'm talking about folks who say, my husband just was diagnosed with COVID, my sister was diagnosed with COVID and I was at a barbecue over a house. So this is the narrower category where we have an actual diagnosis and an actual case of exposure. So one of the questions that I get and have been getting from the beginning of the pandemic is can I require a negative COVID-19 test before somebody comes back to work? And the CDC is now saying they strongly discourage following that model and to use a symptom-based strategy. Now, does that mean that you legally can require it? Probably hold on to your hats. I'll get to that in a second. But the CDC and our health departments are telling us that testing is strongly discouraged, requiring it before somebody can come back to work. Now, we have a state where testing, I don't know if you all have had to deal with this yet, but it's been about two to three days, so it's actually not that long. <clears throat> We're lucky that most folks seem to be able to get a test now. Um, but again, the CDC is looking at this nationally and thinking about the drain on our healthcare system. Now, there's an exception for somebody who's severely immunocompromised. I mean, we want people like that to be going to the doctor anyway. I know it feels like we all have to be doctors now, but when in doubt, we are always going to refer our employees to their healthcare provider. In fact, the one caveat that I'm gonna to give to all of these slides is that what the employee's healthcare provider says trumps anything else. If their healthcare provider is recommending that they stay home seven days, then that's what we're gonna do. Um, if they've got a health department maybe giving an order about folks needing to quarantine, like heaven forbid, if you've got a large outbreak at your workplace, those kinds of things are going to overrule the CDC guidelines. Uh, oh, and then I had a note on here, sorry, this is a repeat, but it was for myself, that there's some provisions of the Families First Coronavirus Act that encourage us to maybe get doctor's notes. So put a footnote in that, we're gonna talk about leave in a second. 